Oh, right. What's up, Yens, guys? I'm going to do a video here for my little bunch of followers who have requested my stretching videos. I'm going to do one more demonstration, but first I'm going to talk about a little bit about uh, taking advantage of your surroundings, the items that are around. Like, I don't care if you're in a place like this, an area you can work out in, or somewhere where you're working, like taking advantage of every single I-beam, every single railing, chain link fence. It's a no-brainer for a lot of people, but since I'm all about uh, the idea of saying to hell with the proper attire and the pro proper clothing and all that crap, um, I want to do something just like that. Uh, no matter who you are, you know, the common Joe can do or the common Jane, you know, uh, without all the fancy attire and all that. And I also preach in doing my stretching and workouts in boots once in a while instead of, you know, shoes because there's importance in that. Because when you've got to go to work in life or go hiking or work, you're working in boots and, and um, there's a lot of advantages to that. But it's like using a railing like this or... Hold on, a set of old railroad ties like this, you know what I mean? Like it, once you're able to get your foot up at it high, but I didn't do a video with just this yet, but once you're able to get your foot up that high like I do, didn't do a video on it, but chain link fences and crap like that, but but then I'll talk about uh, here um, how you start out in the how do you start out in the first place? You know, I mean, if you can't even get your foot up that high yet, and like everybody else is like, you know, can already. My thing is how I don't care if you're watching the hot looking yoga chicks or the martial arts people or anybody. They can already do the shit, and they're they're making the tutorials, right? They're wonderful people, but oh, you just do this. But meanwhile, to common Joe and Jane, you know, common sense there's some prerequisites you have to get anywhere close to that. You know, you got to find a little something of your own. If some of the tutorials ain't working for you, well, they work for you somewhat, but maybe you want to try something of your own. If you're having some trouble with it, you got to if you have inconsistencies in your legs or whatever the hell. Find a way around it. You know, you got to find a way around something if you're failing, you know, because everybody's uh, uh, mechanisms and anatomic structure is different, and you got to find a way to overcome that, you know, inconsistencies in your feet, like I preached about, or whatever, too. Uh, but, like, uh, I'll just do a quick uh, walk you through the basic ideas of what I'm doing here. I'll just go ahead with this, you know, the common, you know, if you can get down this far. Maybe you can't get down and touch your palms yet, but it's okay to just go wider, you know, and just put your hands on your knees or whatever and touch the feet, even if you bend your legs a little bit. Because I thought when I worked at a recycling place, I was always picking shit up, you know, and sorting through stuff. I'm always like this. So I found out when I'm kind of like this, I'm getting a really sense of relief. It feels pretty cool when I'm bending like this, so that's why I started doing stretches to begin with, you know, jobs that be breaking your back and stuff. But, so you can try little things like, you know, don't even do a full split, just leave your legs bent a little bit. Walk around like this, you know, to get that pivot in the hips going, you know what I mean? So, uh, you can get the basic, then start pulling this out, you know what I mean? Then eventually you'd just be able to do it, you know, and start a little bending over like this. I mean, even if you don't get it completely yet, start at a small level, then you're eventually going to get it, you know. That's what I'm going to try and uh, do for some of my viewers there. And that's why I'm trying to make better videos about it. But then once you're able to just be down like this and touch your palms, 
uh, there's a little more to it too. Then we can start. We put this camera over here so I so I can see. Um. Start maybe going forward like this. Camera's even picking that up or not, but yeah, I, it, it's a you know, start out like this. Then, you know, once you're able to grab, like here, try to reach for things like this, try to move your foot and go a little sideways with it. Grab this foot with the opposite hand. But eventually, you'll be able to move this foot back. Then eventually, up here, you're like that. But then once you start out, it's going to look almost kind of, you know, like this a little bit before you actually get it, you know what I mean? Like it's a gradual thing. Maybe you may not be able to grab your feet even like this at first. But um, even my older videos, I was trying to recreate what it would look like to you before you could actually get like every anywhere near anybody else would do it. You know what I'm saying? It should take time. And like if you're not feeling it in this hamstring quite right, just move the foot over a little bit like this or like this and see what happens. Because, like, we all have different anatomic structures in our legs and feet, so it ain't necessarily the same for everybody. But then eventually here, like, let me put this over like this. I can see this real well here. The damn wind doesn't blow the damn camera over. It's kind of windy today. Right? Like, that, stay that way, God damn it. Okay. And once again, taking advantage of um, taking advantage of whatever bar you use. Okay, we're doing this. Taking advantage of whatever um, things you have. So, if I have a camera person, things are a lot easier. But I have to do this myself, you know. But the girlfriend can come out here once in a while and do it. But I don't like to ask her. I do it myself. But Anyway, okay, then you can eventually do this, and this, and then you're holding on here real tight, then you can move this other leg back. And then you can just move this foot around, move this foot around as you go, you know. Try to grab this foot, like that. Put it here. And then you're grabbing tightly on this and you can feel that working and stuff. But then like you might want to do some of this. Lean back a little bit to kind of stretch that groin area out. Because sometimes, you know, the advantage is to doing this and kind of filming it and everything, you can see where the other leg is doing. And you may need to do other things to stretch the very leg you have your weight on, like this leg, because you're going to see in the video it might be bending a little bit when you do a higher stretch. So you'll see in the video that you got to work with that a little bit, so you just work with it, you know. It's a big deal, you know. And just pull that out. See, I like to use boots because you got this to grab onto. You know, you see that? And you can just do whatever, you know? Yeah, you can just.